those of you who have been to Korea, those of you who have been to Korea may have noticed, <laughs> those of you who have been to Korea may have noticed that many roads. <laughs> Yorobun anyong asayo. So, you might be wondering, bakit ang payat ng mga Koreans? Actually, this might have been a generalization some 20 or even 10 years ago, but it does not hold water anymore because many here in Korea are actually starting to gain weight. Probably because of the lifestyle changes na rin, plus technology, no? Lahat kasi nakatutok na sa phone. But I'm still amazed how many Koreans manage to stay lean and fit. So I tried to analyze why. And here are the 10 reasons why I think that is so. Yeah, yeah. But reminder lang guys ha, this list is based purely on my observation and of course, not backed up by scientific studies. But before you continue watching, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe! As they say, you are what you eat. A typical Korean diet is actually very healthy. Our normal meal here consists of around 50% veggies, 30% meat, and 20% carbs. We Filipinos normally eat three to five times a day. Breakfast, merienda, lunch, merienda again, dinner, and oftentimes, snacks before bedtime. But most Koreans I know, especially sa office, do not really munch snacks in between meals. They're also not much into sweets and desserts. And if they do, I notice small servings lang. A regular coffee sa office is just served. Ah, forgot. Few moments later. A regular coffee to office is just served half of this cup. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, food is one, but physical activity is another. I've noticed that the Koreans around me are really into exercise during, before, or after work, or even during lunch breaks. Many would go to the gym or use the free exercise equipment scattered throughout the open parks here. Sports is so popular here in Korea. Name it, they play it. Soccer, baseball, volleyball, basketball, and even just for playtime, chukku, or yung parang foot volleyball. So syempre, not all have the time naman to exercise. And some are really not into sports. But I can safely say, most Koreans walk a lot. Since many here use the public bus with designated stops or subway with stations, far and in between, there's no choice but to walk. Unlike in the Philippines where we can get off almost anywhere if we ride the jeep or tricycle. So like in my case on a normal day, I register around 5,000 steps when I don't exercise. Those of you who have been to Korea may have noticed that Many roads here go up and down. You may have also noticed it some K dramas. That's because Korea is made up of a mountainous terrain. So dito parang lagi kang naglalakad sa San Juan. Pataas, pababa, pataas. Imagine all the calories Koreans are burning just to reach their destination. As if climbing the roads is not enough, I also noticed that many Koreans do not use elevators as often as, say, Filipinos do. In the mall or at our office or even at the apartments, there's rarely a line of people waiting for elevators. I noticed that Koreans normally just climb the stairs. I work at a five-story building with more than a thousand employees, but there's only one elevator servicing six people at a time. Also, many Koreans consider mountain climbing as a hobby or to some, even a regular weekend activity. Kasi nga puro bundok dito. Trekking the roads, climbing the stairs, and pati mountains, di pinatawad, no? Kaya paano di sila papayat? Another calorie-burning lifestyle is the regular visit to Mokyoktang or sauna. Sauna? 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 They would alternate soaking in very hot jacuzzis with staying in even hotter steam rooms. Imagine that. To cap it off, they would spend an hour deep scrubbing their skin or even somebody else's. But it's all clean fun. Visiting the sauna is Koreans' way of bonding with friends and family. I would normally check my weight before and after my sauna visits. 
and it's often an instant 1 kilogram weight loss. Well, probably water loss, but still. All of the reasons I have mentioned so far why Koreans are lean are healthy reasons. But there's one unfortunate reason too. A lot of them are so stressed at work or at school. Though this may have been changing dramatically in the past few years, many Koreans still work or study really hard. The society is just too competitive and fast-paced that everyone wants to excel and be on top. Paano ka nga naman di papayan? Office, mall, apartment. Most everywhere you go, the parking space is just too small, allowing only the fittest drivers to come out of the car. A not-so-fit passenger will then have to wait for the car to get out of the parking slot before riding. Compare this to the huge parking spaces in the US. Okay, I know, I know. This is not technically a reason why Koreans are lean. But it probably is a motivation for them. Who knows? So, bakit nga ba karamihan sa mga Koreans ay payat? In conclusion, although genetics is a factor, but I think it's more because of a generally healthy lifestyle. A healthy diet that's high in veggies and less in sugar. Partida ha, they normally don't skip meals and eat the usual 3 meals a day. Plus, the almost everyday combination of physical activities. Walking, climbing, exercising, and sports. Pati nga ako nadadama eh. I end up climbing 20 floors in a day and as I've said, walking at least 5,000 steps. Not to mention that a lot of us bike to work. So I hope you found this video informative, or at least you enjoyed it. Again guys, this list is of course just based on my perspective. Comment down below if you agree, or even if you don't, or if I missed out on other possible reasons bakit payat ang mga Koreans. Anong ikasayo? 